everybody, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich, and tonight we see a team that was one of the toasts of the league for a while, and the while ended with the last game. They lost that one. What do you tell me? Well, let's start a new streak. Tough enough to win in this league, but they had a real good run. It came to an abrupt stop, but at the end of the day is that you have to figure out a way what you did during that real good winning streak that did not allow you to win that last game. Colorado's philosophy should not change just because of one loss. You're coming off a game where you know you could have played better, but the best part of a busy schedule is you don't have too much time to think about your prior game. Let's start a new streak. Let's look at the starting netminders. Kari Lettinen, a decade in the NHL and has emerged from back surgery to become one of the league's finest, first in Atlanta and after in Dallas. Semyon Varlamov, a world traveler, has played for the Hershey Bears, the Washington Capitals, Colorado Avalanche, overseas, a part of the rejuvenation of the Avs, and represented his native Russia in the Olympics. The Avs come into the night's game feeling great about the way they've played over the last 10 games. I was talking to their coach this morning, and he said there's not one facet that he's been dissatisfied. They really want to take the game to their opponent, who's really struggled lately. With play stopped, it's Ray Ferraro time. Dallas is in the playoffs. It's the last game on their schedule. There's nothing to play for, but you have to be careful that you don't fall asleep. Somebody gets rocked, and you lose a player to injury right before the playoffs. Okay, Ray, thank you. Puck gathered in by Johnson. Gotten quickly back. Passing one off now to Landeskog. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. Hammered. A terrific scoring chance denied. No completion on that pass thanks to the defender. Up the wing still with possession and with hope. Carried to the corner by Duchesne. Hammers it. Terrific shot, but a great point blank save. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. They needed that save, but more importantly, the whistle to stop play. Whoa, he was able to get the glove on this excellent scoring chance. Looked like he had him beat, but he's in good shape and he makes an incredible glove stop. Good job on the draw. Pass attempt to Sagan. Heads along the boards. Has it in his own end. Lugged out of the defensive zone. Pitching it to Sharp. Shoots a wrister. Outstanding save made off a terrific chance. Varlamov's able to scramble back into position to make an excellent stop here. Over five minutes have elapsed here in the first. It's a 1-0 game. Dallas gets it off the draw. To Sharp. That puck's loose, defended away by Gabriel Landeskog. Not through! The puck is fielded now by Landeskog. Let's a shot go. Keeps it going behind the goalie. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass out. A whistle and a rest. Win it off a of body. Let's it fly. Pointed to Barry. Big save. Outstanding save by the goalie. What quickness side to side. Loose puck gathered by Johnson. And possession once again by Eves. Forcing attention in deep. Brings a shot. That hits somebody. Loose puck taken by Johnson. Great pressure. Oh, and a save. 
moving it to Landeskog. Colorado's continuing on up the wing. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Has it picked up? Pitching this one to Eves. Trying to go to Korpakowski. Puck loose, good defensive play. Into the attacking end. Chooses the corner. The Stars with a clean win on the draw. And the loose puck gathered in by Jamie Benn. Looking to Spetsa. Laid on to Hoodler. Taken away. Nice work by Jason Spezza. Score! Well, I know that shot was really hard, Doc, but where he put it was more impressive to me. It was a great goal, Enzo. However, he was aided by an atrocious play in the defensive zone. The goaltender standing there looking at this mistake in front of him, and there's no way he's going to get across to make the stop. A little under four minutes left to go here in the first. Just recently, another goal, and so the lead is two. One minute left in the first period. Fired up the wing to Duchesne, directing that one to Polak. He throws it there. Puck covered, whistle blown. Letting it save is a good one, but defensively, they cannot give up another odd man rush. Good clean win on the draw. Terrific interception. The Stars force another turnover in this game. Let's see what they can do with it. Snapping a pass to Polak. At the point of drive. Lightning-like reflexes there. Great glove save. 20 minutes have been played. The Stars own a 2-0 lead. All right, let's look at the shots on goal in that period. A lucky 13 for the Stars and 11 for Colorado. The Stars end the period with a two-goal advantage. We focus on this one, the one that made it two goals, and we'll have more in just a moment. We have 20 minutes down. We have lots of time still to go. What are your thoughts so far, Enzo? The abs are down in this game, Doc, and rightfully so. They did not manage the puck at all. If they want to get back in that game, they got to eliminate those turnovers. Gathered in by Johnson. The abs with possession up the wing. Gets in, looks over his options here. Turned a shot on net. Good work with the stick. Finessed. They score! It's only a one-goal game now. The goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. It was a wide-open net, Edzo, when he went to shoot it, but what a great effort by the goaltender as he tried to dive back on the play. Just can't get there. Colorado's gotten an important goal here. They call it the proximate goal. It gets you back to within one. And considering we're in the second period, that's a nice step. By number nine. Gets in. What'll he do? By number on to Johnson. A giveaway. Big drive. Got a piece of it with the glove. Score! Ricocheted off a skate. Marlamov's ready to push across the front of the net for the pass, but it hits his defenseman's skate and deflects past him into his own net. Dallas has enlarged their lead now to two, and we're in the second period, so much more time to build on that. Let's see if they can keep momentum. The Stars do an excellent job limiting their opponent's shots on net. One of the main reasons is how many shots they block. 
over the last few games. It's a crazy number. And he dumps it in. Colorado setting things up in their own end. Cleared down for icing. Duchesne's among the highest goal scorers in the league. He does his damage from in close to the net. He'll power his way in looking for rebounds. He's got a real knack for where the loose puck is. Just over four minutes have gone by. The Stars have widened their lead. It's now two goals. Fantastic shutdown. And the puck taken hold of by Gabriel Landeskog. Back near the blue line to Polak. No! Gotta get it on net! Oh, that puck slowed up and just missed the side of the net. To Polak. Good save there. Great stick save. Dallas has it in the defensive zone. Curls on back and readies an attack. Another face-off because the puck went out of play into the player's bench. Colorado's got it. On the outside, a shot. Oh, a close call there. I know what he's trying to do there, Doc, but you gotta hit the net in this situation. Oh, what a break! That shot hit somebody. And now it's directed to Hemsky. Good work there. They'll have to try it again because of the defender's stick. The Avs want to generate something up the wing. Pass cut. Puck is thrown to Oduya. Slid to Jamie Benn. Onside. Chip to Hoodler. And offside is called on the play. Duchesne's had a marvelous offensive season. Whether it's on the power play or five on five, he's been able to deliver for his team. And as a result, he has among the highest point totals in the league. The Stars from the neutral zone start to work. Taken over again. Defender held his ground. The puck is loose. And possession snapped up by Tyler Sagan. Passing one off now to Sharp. Fires! Brilliant save by Varlamov. Varlamov's looking awfully confident after that outstanding stop. I'm sure. Great glove save, and he keeps it. Oh, if you're a shooter, you don't want to see the goaltender flash his glove like that. Letnin's athleticism is on display. That's an odd man rush against excellent save. Players tired, about to get a rest, but still seconds to play in this period. Quick work on the faceoff. Saved off the mask. And he'll cover. Duchesne's been a really responsible player for his team. He has among the highest plus minuses in the league. But to have that, you've got to be able to produce at both ends of the ice. Good faceoff win. Fires. Shot off the post. Hard shot off the crossbar and out. Colorado's got that win. Two sticks together, it goes to the offense. Pass attempt to Hoodler. The Avs have it between the blue lines. That's a good solid poke check. Loose puck due to the play by Landeskog. Rifled that pass up the middle to Polak. Takes a shot. Jamie Benz got it on his stick, trying to get it out of there. And that is the end of the second period of this game. One more to go, and who knows, maybe more action beyond that. Through two periods, here are the shots on goal. Get ready. 20 for the Stars, and 18 for the Avalanche. Bam.
The Stars are leading in the game. Here is the latest goal that got them a bigger lead. We'll return in just a moment. Forty minutes have been played. They are getting ready for the third period here. So take us back through the game. What do you think, Eddie? Dallas has made goal scoring look pretty easy after the first 40 minutes of play, Doc. Let's see how they play it. Do they continue to look to add to the lead, or do they try to tighten it up defensively and win this game with the score the way it is? Ripper! And it's driven away. Pitching it to Polak. He gains the zone. He's all alone. Marvelous save. Score! They're back to within two now. He looked to be cherry-picking in behind the defense, and it worked. He found himself on a breakaway. Wetman's not able to keep the puck in front of him. He gets a big chunk of this as he's in position to make the save, but it's just not enough. Colorado's goal gets them to within two. There is still time, thus there is still hope. It's a good thing. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. Assisted by number On through the corner. Shoots. Score! And it's a one goal game. Duchesne's quick hands allowed him to snap that one off and score the goal. Polak's able to clear open ice and he lays a sweet saucer pass on the shooter's stick. The Avs have struck back, only trailing by a single goal, and we're in the dramatic third period. Sagan's got another in a long list of faceoff wins. And he gains the zone. By number 24, and by number four, Shot on. That's what those pads are for. The Stars are moving the puck in their own end. Still has control up the wing. Puck is seized by Johnson. Pressed to the glass. Propelled to Grigorenko. It's dumped in. Dogged determination there by Hamhuis. Taken over now by Sharp. Moving it to Hoodler. Pitching this one to Sharp. Smart recovery by Grigorenko. Colorado's got another win. The Stars starting back in their own end. Cleared out, and that forces them to drop back. Skill play by Beauchemin. Trying to go to McKinnon. The Avs lug that along up the wing. Drill. That's a good patch save. And they got it out of there. And the possession taken up by Beauchemin. Paddled aside. McKinnon's got it in his own end, headed towards center. Colorado's power play fails this time, and so they are still down by one. Drilled. Wonderful chance to score, but no. Scooped up by Beauchemin. Looking to pull off. And the puck is scooped up by Jordy Ben. Puck loose. Couldn't drag it through. Directing that one to Klingberg. Two goals so far, Doc. He's out there vying for the third one to give him the hat trick. Snapping a pass to Richie. And play stopped because of an offside. Just over seven minutes remaining in the period. The lead was three. It has become two. And the clock still shows time remaining. Time enough to get a pair, maybe three. Moved along and in. Slides it to the point to them. 
Can he generate something? Moves behind the net. Shoots it off. Save. And this play is whistled down. It is offside. Well, the shooter's pretty disappointed, guys. He delivered that puck quickly. It was accurate, yet the goaltender was just better than him on the wrist shot. Colorado's got another face-off win. The Avs up the wing, lug the puck. Chooses the corner for this. Let's it go. Oh, and it's off the mark. You have to give yourself a chance. That terrific save, terrific opportunity. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Richie's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. The Avs power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. For tripping, time of the penalty, 14 minutes, 7 seconds. Late in the game now. A wild finish is coming. And now it's directed to Polak. Gains the blue line. He's in! Oh, tremendous stop by Lettinen. And here's Ray. The Avs have played very well, but they've just had no finish to their opportunity, whether it's been a post, a crossbar, or the several times they've missed the net. Yeah, oh my, Ray, it's, it's sort of hard to watch those, isn't it? So many close calls, and this game would be different. Centermen practice this so many times at the end of their game day workouts. And here comes the biggest one, perhaps, of the whole season. Pitch back into the offensive zone. Dallas made the right decision there. That was not a time to try to beat somebody. Laid on to Landeskog. Nicely into the zone. To Polak. Oh, stick save. A good, solid shot, but a strong stop and deflection out of play off the goaltender. The cage is vacant. Chance taking time. So important to win the next face off now. They win the draw. Let's see if it pays off. Got his stick on it. Shot. They score. Not much time left, but this one is tied. You want to score goals? You've got to get to this area of the ice. The energy on the bench here, Eddie, has been growing as this comeback is in soon. What a great finish to tie this game up. Soderbergh's tied this game up late. Does he have another in him? Maybe now? Maybe overtime? Colorado's has gotten the last strike in regulation time. It is this goal that has brought about overtime, and it will begin when we return after these words. Begun sudden death overtime. There will be someone here who can end this. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Decides he wants the corner. Colorado's carrying it in their own end. Up the wing and still with it. Let's it go. Didn't miss by much. That's going to happen. There's not a lot of room there. He just missed the shot. The puck is scooped up by Sagan. On to Polak. Puck is thrown to Barry. Slid. Saved off the mask. Shoots one. Turned aside. Klingberg's cut through the neutral zone. Big chance here. Wonderful stop by Varlamov. And picked up now by Barry. 
gathered up again by Johnson. It's an onside play. Let's it go. Why? Wants the shelter at the corner here. Let's it go. Strong shooter against a strong goaltender and the guy with a trapper won. Good place to shoot from and he does. Hangs on to that one and he'll see a face off right near him. Blendon's made several excellent saves. None better than that. Certainly none bigger than that one here in overtime. One minute left in the overtime period. Did you know that season ticket holders... Dallas has remained in this game thanks to their goaltender. You want an example? Look at this one. Just one of many as we had to break. All this hockey played tonight, and we can't decide a thing. So now, the shootout. Someone has to go first. This is the guy. Wonderful save. Score! Lendon's positioning was outstanding here. He got a piece, but not enough. It went into the net. It is 1-0. Will it be 2-0? A shot. Got his pad on that one. Bottom of the second. Down by one. He sure looks better with a goal here. He saved the goal. And he saved his team. Gives his team a huge opportunity coming up. Spets is at his best when it's on the line, and it is now. He scores! He had to score, and he did! He had the look on his face back like he enjoyed all that pressure to keep the shootout moving ahead. Desperate to get a goal for his team. Outstanding save by the goalie. This is the shot that can be the winner. An outstanding save. Boy, he was very composed on that big time save in the shootout. Soderbergh's got it. He could put on a ton of pressure here. That one blocked. Oh, he had the chance to win it, but we continue. If a red light flashes, this is done. Fires, terrific pad save. Shane's next, desperate to get a goal for his team. What a save! It only weighs five ounces, but it is the game on his stick right here. Wonderful save with a pass.
The goalies haven't been perfect. What about this one? Score! satisfying even though it had to go to extra time and a shootout the little things ended up getting them to overtime and eventually winning this game into the shootout solid performances all around in a terrific hockey game we hope you liked it we'll all look forward to next time good night from all of us